Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 269, removing minimum and maximum from array. Um, come uh, hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, come to my Discord and we'll hang out with a lot of smart people. A lot of people did this way quickly. Not me though, but, um, but yeah, so I end up doing this problem in about four minutes as well, um, just because of sloppiness. You can watch me solve it during the contest next to kind of see what I struggled with. Um, but for this one, I thought it was pretty okay. Um, but basically, is just um, a problem of case analysis, right? So there are only really three cases. Um, let's say you have two numbers, and one of them is the minimum, the other is the max, it doesn't really matter. Though for me, that was some of the confusion was that I got the indexes as well. But let's say you have, okay, so there's actually one more case. So one case is it only has one number. So this is the only case where the min and the max is the same. In every other case, you just have two indexes, right? So then there are only three cases um, that it can be. Um, and to draw it out with ASCII art, um, so, you know, let's say you have, uh, you know, there's only three cases, right? There is one where, where you delete, delete only from the beginning. There's one only where you delete only from the end. Um, and then there's one where you delete from both ends, right? Oh, I guess to draw it more clearly, I guess the the other point is here, so that you you only do it from one end because it's already overlapping by the other point, right? So these are the only three cases, and as long as you be able to visualize it, I think the coding is pretty straightforward. You, um, I mean, you might have off by one or so. Um, like I was trying to make sure that I wasn't. That's what part of the reason I was slow, but. But I think that's basically the idea, right? Um, so you're only reaching from the end, so you just have to keep track of uh, which, or you have to do all three and then see which one it is. Um, so that's basically my code, is that, you know, if n is one, then we return one. Otherwise, we get the min and the max, and we get the index of the min and the max. So I guess I, I don't need this, I could have just did something like index of, or something like that. Or, um, I guess in Python, it's just dot index. I don't know why I did it like this, um, but anyway, um, and you find out which one's the left and which one's the right by looking at, you know, these things. And then you just get the minimum of the three combinations of only the left, only the right, or the left and the right, right? Um, so, yeah, that's basically it. Um, this is going to be linear time because this is a linear loop, this is a linear loop, and this is a linear loop, even though you can win, you can actually win this as, um, hmm, like, nums of index of uh, something like this, right? So yeah, so if you want to prefer, I think this works. If not, then I'm a little bit embarrassed. Uh, yeah, so so yeah, and you know that th these exist, so you don't have to worry about exceptions or whatever. But yeah, um, that's pretty much all I have. This is all linear time, and this is going to be constant space um, because we only have a couple of variables and looping through stuff. Um, yeah, anyway, you can watch me self a live during the contest next. Okay, that one should have been faster, but I wanted to do sliding windows. Is, is this too easy or I'm just confused? Oh no, it's not, but... Hmm.
How did I get five? Oh, whoops. Yeah, uh, let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Uh, anyways, stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health, uh, and take care. Bye-bye.